A, Welcome Broken World Entertainment, Black Adam is doing quite well at the box office, despite what the critics have said. Yes, critics, of course, are hating this movie. So much so, that the Rotten Tomato score from the critics has dropped significantly. It went from 49%, was it? It's dropped to 39%. While the audience score is a whopping 90%. <laughs> now, the funny thing about this is, as I said in the last video about Black Adam, and a lot of other people are pointing out now as well, that if this movie had Marvel Studios written above it, the critics would have this thing up in the 80s. But what's funny is how the critics are, in fact, review bombing this movie. But isn't it interesting how when it's the critic doing it, it's just, oh, it's their job, it's criticism. But when we do it, it's toxicity. Here's a top critic, the movie freak, who simply writes, Black Adam is nothing more than a splashy two-hour coming attractions reel for future motion pictures. That's it. That's her entire review for a movie. That's a little style. What about this one from the Daily Express in the UK? It's just a shame the film itself is painfully dull. That's it. That's his entire review. <laughs> the, the entire review. Yet when fans were writing on the likes of Rings of Power and stuff... They would put in big explanations as to why they disliked it and it was still getting removed. But to the dismay of the critics who we know were championing this movie for opening below 60 million domestic. Well, unfortunately for them, it's opened domestically at 67 million. Internationally, at 73 million. Black Adam so far has got 140 million worldwide in its opening weekend. Not a bad start, eh? Not a bad start indeed. However, the likes of Halloween Ends has plummeted. Now, people will try and say, oh, it's because it's on Peacock as well at the same time. It dropped 88% in the box office. <laughs> 88%. It's sitting worldwide at the moment at 82 million. So it is starting to make money. It was made for 30 million. Add in that probably again for its thing. You're probably looking at it having to make in the region of 80 million. Maybe 85, so it's approaching it anyway. The problem is, fans hate it. Hate it. So much so, there's a petition that has begun and already smashed its goal to remake Halloween Ends. <laughs> they wanted 5,000 signatures. They got 7,000 signatures. <laughs> Uh, as for the likes of the Woman King, well, that's a huge loser. It's sitting right now at 82 million. The thing needs to make 125 just to break even. So that's a huge money loser. What about Bros? <laughs> bros is practically off the chart. In terms of where it is in the box office. A movie that somehow. A gay rom-com. Which from what I hear is just full of gay orgies. And just weirdness. Cost the studio somehow. 22 million dollars. Well it's currently sitting at a whopping 11 million. <laughs> 
Well, Black Adam is coming out strong. Now, will it have the legs to keep going? Time will tell. The audience score would suggest that it would. You know, if if the audience score, like, let's face facts, the Rotten Tomato scores mean nothing. But it go- does give you a good indication of where the fans are coming from. With the, No one gives a shit about the critic scores. As we said, you put Marvel Studios and that, the thing would be up in the 80s. And it's funny that because the movie's starting to do well, the critics all of a sudden are salty, and that score drops to 39%. <laughs> Come on. But they're freaking out. And the best part is, The Rock took a direct shot at the critics by actually thanking the fans publicly. He put out the fan score and a big thank you to the fans and flat out said this movie was made for no one else but you guys. <laughs> In your face critics, huh? But anyway, at the moment it's sitting at 140 million. That could go up later today. They may that may not even include the Sunday numbers yet. But We'll keep an eye on it and we'll see how it does. As I said, the fans seem to be enjoying it. Critics are absolutely despising it. What what else can we say? Except, get stuffed, critics. (laughs) Anyway, with that one, I'll leave it there for this. Cheers. Catch you in the next one.